an idea on track and Franco. No, we got bigger problems. Uh-oh, what happened? When the law-abiding ones swept the burnt-out cabin for evidence in Claudia's murder, they did find something. They found a human hair. Okay, well, a lot of people were in that cabin. Yeah, including Michael. But now the cops have a way to link Michael to Claudia's murder. Samantha is correct. A great many people have trod through that rusted cabin over the years. The chances that the hair is Michael's are slim at best. Well, keep watching the PCPD mainframe. You know what? See if they got a, a DNA sample of Michael on file. Affirmative. Okay, is there any way to tamper with that sample? Just to make sure there's no match in case the hair is Michael's? I can sure try. I promised Michael I would take care of this now everything's blown up in my face. I knew that we should have checked the perimeter as soon as we walked in and we saw what happened. Okay, but you've got to be realistic. There's no way you could have been all-knowing and all-seeing. Okay, all that matters now is damage control. Spinelli, keep working on what we can do to alter Michael's DNA sample. Huh. Did you, did you know about this? No. I didn't. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you know, Maxie, she mentioned this a few weeks ago that she wanted to redecorate, and I'm assuming her and Spinelli went through with it. Yeah, but why? I don't know. Probably to take your mind off of all the Franco craziness. Yeah, I have nothing to say, I have no idea what the thing is. <laughs> all right, well, you'll figure it out. Yeah, but don't you think they should have asked? I don't know. I, I mean, come on. They did this in the spirit of friendship. Their hearts were obviously in the okay, right why, place. Why are Max and Spinelli working to make this okay for me after what Franco did to them and what Franco did to you? I'm sorry. It just, um... It scares the hell out of me to think about what could have happened to you. I'm okay. And I wasn't in any danger. I don't know if you know this, but I kind of have, like, nine lives. No, I don't want to be the reason you're using a mug. Will you stop, please? You are not responsible for anything I, that Franco does. I know. I just... I just don't like feeling helpless. And that's exactly what I felt when I couldn't find you. You know, I was, I was thinking, Franco planned this all months in advance before he even knew you existed. I think Franco saw me out because he didn't want to feel alone. And for some reason he related to me. But he knew when he told me both you and Lulu were going to die at the exact same time that I would choose you. Not Lulu. Yeah, okay, of course, which is why you called Dominic to go after Lulu. Sam, all that matters to me is that you survived. And Lulu. But the way Franco got inside my head. And he may be gone, but I know he's going to be watching me to see what I do. Oh. You know, before Franco told me where to find you, he wanted me to open up. So uh, I told him the first thing I, I was ever good at was using a gun. And that working for Sonny gave me purpose. And Franco hated that. He did not want to hear it. So he's going to take it away from me. What? He said if I kill again, he'll kill again too. <sighs> Business, self-defense, it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter why. If I take somebody's life, he's going to take an innocent person and do the exact same thing. Do you think that's a legitimate threat, though, that Franco can somehow keep track of what you're I mean, doing? he has before. And now I know Franco as well as he knows me. I think he'll follow through on it. This whole thing with Franco, 
clearly has upset you. I think you just need some time to process. <sighs> Sam, I don't have time. He's gone. I know he's gone, but he has photos of Michael with Claudia's body. Back reading Stone Cold for Samantha. <laughs> Quite a transformation. Uh, right. I, I, I would actually love to hear Stone Cold's reaction, but uh, unfortunately, I bring distressing news. What happened? Well, I slipped into the PCPD laboratory to corrupt the DNA file on young Michael Corinthos. You know, my wish was to ensure that his DNA would not match that of the strand of hair found at the ruins of the cabin, but my efforts were in vain. Oh, no, you weren't able to get into the lab. No, not that. The hair found at the cabin was not Michael's, it was his father's. So now the cops can play Sonny in the cabin where Claudia died. 